Well, we've managed to go a fair distance into the course without having to do this, but I have some news for you. We're going to have to integrate. And the entire course is going to take us in the direction of integration eventually. But to start with, here's a base question. We are going to find the position vector, otherwise known as R of t. So we're trying to find a position vector. And here's what we're given. We're given that the velocity vector is 3t plus 5i plus 2 plus sine t j plus e to the 4t k. See, I can write ijk notation if I have to. Now, the given is going to include one more piece of information I'm going to hold on to, okay? One more piece of information I'm going to hold on to. I just want to remind you that first off, that if the derivative of r of t is equal to the velocity vector, then that means if we integrate the velocity vector and t is the variable, we should get the position vector. But <laughs> we know what we should get and what we do get don't always match up the first time. In mathematics, sometimes you have to account for other possibilities. And in this particular case, the other possibility is some form of constant of integration. The constant of integration. And you should know right now that there is an error on this paper. There is something wrong with that. Well, this is a vector this is not a vector. It would have a vector symbol if it were a vector. And I'm going to show you that this constant of integration must be a vector also. It must be a constant of integration that is a vector. And we're going to go further. We're going to find the constant because I'm going to provide a clue of what the constant is. And that clue is the position vector at time 0 is equal to 2i plus k. We will not come back to that until we need it. It's like one of those small parts bags in a big piece of, of assembled furniture. We're, we might need them eventually, but we're not quite sure what they're for yet. But we'll get the big pieces together first. So if we integrate If we integrate um, pieces separately, that's one way to do this. You could have three separate integrals. So you could integrate with respect to t three different times. We could write the entire vector all at once and integrate it. Those are not wrong notations. Both of them work just fine. If you recall, when we integrate, we integrate in uh, terms uh, anyway. Um, so the integral of 3t plus 5 is going to become 3t squared divided by 2 plus 5t plus a constant. There is our i term. And there's nothing to erase, but there is a small error there that I must account for shortly. You don't have to erase anything, though. The next set of terms, 2t 
and the integral of sine is minus cosine of t and then a constant there as well. Can you see why sometimes I use component form or why I use it often? It just doesn't fit on the paper. And then finally, 1 fourth e to the 4t and then a constant times k. Later on, we can work on skills like integration by substitution, but I'm not going to take this video segment to do that right now. All right, so here's the mistake. If I leave the notation this way, computer nerds, pay attention if you're a programmer, these c's would all be the same value, but they may not be. This part of the function could have its own value separate from the other two. So I'm going to label them constant 1, 2, and 3. I'm not a big fan of this notation here because it's too easy to forget that there's more than just one letter C there. Each term has a constant. Now, let's just scroll a little bit back up here again. See this guy? This tells you what you should get when you let t be zero in this statement. So if truly we have r of t equals, then when I evaluate at time zero, I should get zero zero c one times i 2 times 0 is 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. So this is going to be minus 1 plus C2 times J. And then E to the 0 is 1. So this is going to be 1 fourth plus C3 times K. But that should be equal to 2I plus K. Now I'm not a big fan of the mess I've created, but I do know how to read this notation. What we're seeing is that the first term here, the C1, should be equal to the 2 that's here. Those are the I terms. That the negative 1 plus C2 should be equal to the j term here. Wait a second, there's no j term. Well, that's because it's 0. And then the 1 fourth plus c3 should be equal to 1 times k, just 1. So in this case, c2 is going to equal 1, and c3 is going to equal, oh, do you have the brain power? I think it's going to be 3 fourths. So I have to answer the question, what was the position vector? Position vector R of T, I guess I should stick with my IJK notation here, 3 halves t squared plus 5t plus 2i plus 2t minus cosine t plus 1j plus 1 fourth e to the 4t plus 3 fourths k. Some of these steps you may be able to do with mental math, but I wanted to show you how you might organize it on your paper. Now, I'm a big fan of many different notations. I like the flexibility, but I would encourage you guys to consider maybe using IJK is not the place. This is, Maybe this isn't the place to use it. Maybe I should have used component form instead. Until next time, catch you later.